Today is Friday the 14th of October 2016. This is the Motorhome and Caravan Show in Birmingham National Exhibition Centre in the United Kingdom. This vehicle in front of me is a Wild Axe Pulsar. It's only five metres long and it is really very clever. So, as we can see from here, it's on a Citroen base. And coming in, the first thing I would like to say is how much headroom it's got in such a small vehicle. Now, here we have two seats. Now, at first you might think, well, those seats look a little bit unwieldy. And maybe they do, but they convert into a bed by pulling out this catch here and one at the other side and then by placing cushion in there so you've got a bed which is from here to there and it's one meter 85 long so that is more than adequate for most people here there's a kitchen which is now been as we can see it's been updated but I would have this older version here because in the older version there is an electric fridge and in the newer one they've got a three-way fridge. I know that these fridges take up very little electricity. It's a very good piece of kit and if you had a sun, uh, solar on the roof that would be ideal for powering that. Thetford cooker with oven and in here we have the wet room. Remember this is only five meters long and look how big it is inside. Now I'm going to get in so uh, as I stand here close the sliding door unfortunately because of the way the camera is you can't see but I can assure you there's plenty of room in here and there we have the sink very clever, takes up no space at all. It's an enormous wet room for such a small vehicle. And one thing I'm constantly rabbiting on about is the sliding door. Now, it may seem as though I've had many of my ideas came from Wild Axe, or maybe the other way around. Maybe they got them from me. They're to we're totally independent. I'm sure nobody here has ever heard of me before. And whereas I'd heard of them, I'd never seen their vehicle. Now, because they have added another innovation, something I'm always and constantly rabbiting on about, and if you've seen any of my other films, you'll know, and that's this thing here, refillable gas tank. Uh, there on the B pillar, and you know, you don't want to be carrying canisters around. Not only that, gas canister. Um, cabinets take up comparatively a large amount of space here the gas canister is hidden but more importantly is you don't have to carry the thing around with you and when you get to a certain age you don't want to do your back in by manipulating them into difficult and um, to get to places so let's see the rear with the uh, exit for the cassette. For a vehicle of this size, I've got to commend it for the gas canister, the height, the uh, everything. It's a very, very good vehicle. There may be a bit of a lack of storage space, obviously, for people who want to live in the thing, uh, bearing in mind that it is only five meters long but you know even for a couple of weeks and something like that that is really very very good and here we have the kitchen which they will shortly be putting into it and there you can see the cushion which is used to make the bed and i would go for the older style with the electric wake up fridge